Hey, welcome back to Southern Boys Outdoors. Hey guys, and yeah, he is still laying there. I mean, this is an hour and a half later and this buck is still laying there. You can tell that the sun's not shining on him no more. I'm losing sunlight and man, I'm telling you, daylight's fading fast. I'm getting pumped up. I mean, my, my heart, I don't even think my heart's beating anymore. But finally, he gets up and he walks away from me. And man, my heart just dropped. When I seen this buck move away from me, I'm like, oh my God, he just walked out of my life. But I knew that he had a, a scrape line that started just south of me and I could pick him up through the timber and he was working his way back to me. And as he got closer, I seen him at the second scrape that he had and I knew that he was coming this way. And guys, I put in a mock scrape and this buck goes straight to that mock scrape, starts pawing the ground, pawing the ground, peeing up and down his leg, rubbing his uh, horns, his tarsal glands up in the tree. I mean, he's just going apes on this mock scrape that I put in. And self-filming is hard to keep your camera focused, move your camera and get set up on it. And finally, he comes out and gives me a 15 yard broadside shot. And all of a sudden he's looking at me. And he's looking, me and him are looking eyeball to eyeball. I'm reaching over a limb with my bow. Got my camera set up beside me. I got the XL, a spy point filming. And I'm looking down at this buck looking at me. And I'm like, oh my God. Oh yeah, baby, what a awesome shot. Man, I mean, right when his leg went forward, I hit the release and bye I mean, I put it dead in the kill zone, dead in the boiler room, and I knew that buck wasn't going far, but I didn't want to push him. Man, and I'm telling you, man, I got down and I found the air, I start following the blood trail, and man, I'm telling you, I stopped there for a minute and I just start thinking how rewarding it was to go travel 13 hours from home, travel up there two or three times, lease my own farm, hang my own stand, put my own trail cameras up, do everything by myself. And when it all comes together like that and put an air through a nice Missouri 10 point, I couldn't be no more pumped up. Uh oh. Look what we got. Uh oh. Go oh, Holly. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Man. Whoo. He's stiff already. He's been dead for a while. We waited. Hey, guys, we waited about, probably about three hours, two and a half, three hours before we come look for him. And man, what a stud, man. Man, just an awesome Missouri buck, guys. This is what you come to North Missouri for right here. Hey, thank y'all for tuning in this week. Hey, a big time thank you to all the people out there that follow us on Facebook. I mean, man, we got almost a million people follow Southern Boys Outdoors. And how touching that is to have a million people follow you on Facebook, it's unbelievable. Hey, SBO Southern Boys Outdoors. And you know, the only thing I can really think of to say to end this show, it just don't get no better than this. When times get tough, we'll be just fine out in them woods. Cause country boy gonna get it done like can't nobody.